Well, actually, it's not just a meeting, it's a town hall meeting, yes. But it's um, the whole idea is to do something about the situation of the north, especially the northwest. We were not like this. So, what has really happened? We have traced and retraced our steps. I have said everything that needs to be said for or against the government, not just this government, previous governments. But now I tell myself it's time for us to change things ourselves, outside politics. So what we first, our, uh, one of our, um, our intentions or objective is to change the mindset of our youth, is to find them, to give them hope. And you cannot give them hope until they, you make them understand that there is light at the end of the tunnel. So to that end, what I have done is to try to see how we can partner with the central bank. Because there are lots and lots of interventions that do not get through to the people. A lot of times, these interventions are given to politicians who have no interest whatsoever in the development of our youth. So having been made to understand that the Northwest does not hardly applies, which is really not true. They have tried to apply, but because of the corruption in the channels to get what they, they are supposed to get. After all, these resources are our God-given resources and they are people's resources. These resources do not belong to the president, they don't belong to the governor, they don't belong to the senator. It's, it's, oh, it's, uh, it's something that was given to Nigerians by God Almighty, to the people of Nigeria. So any government that is in place is supposed to be a government that will be serving people. So what do we do? What we have done is to form an organization called Salama. Salama Youth Empowerment and Sensitization. Uh, yeah, Sensitization, Enlightenment. All right? What do we do? Three things. One, trying to restore the honor of our youth, first and foremost. Change their mindset in terms of laziness, uh, self of um, a feeling of entitlement, you know, without doing nothing. You know, you, I have, we have exhibited quite a few of our youth that are talented, but they don't get any kind of help. So what do we do? We can use Salama as an, as, as, as an umbrella, an umbrella of hundreds of non-governmental associations, including association of drug addicts. In fact, they are the first ones that we have helped because we are trying to stop them from becoming or continue to become cannon fodder for politicians. You understand? What do we do? We enlighten them. We teach them skills through their associations. We get the intervention through Salama. Is it government intervention? Is it national or international donors? Is it our local uh, well-off? We have lots of them that would want to help but do not know how to channel their help. So through Salama that we have launched today, there is so much that we can do. Already, you know, when we started, uh, there is an association of drug addicts at Koiki. I sat with them. They told me their challenges, and I asked them, what is it you want us to do for you? They said they would want some cattle, some sheep, so that they will be full time. You know, they have something that they can call their own, something that they can nurture, something that they have a passion for. Because a lot of times, when you give interventions, you are giving interventions to people that are not interested in what you are giving them. So we have to be able to channel any kind of help after counseling, after assessing, after knowing what they, they, they want, what are the, their challenges are. And in addition to everything else, 
what we are saying is this. Our people do not have a sense of responsibility or collective responsibility. That is what I have spoken against. There is no collective responsibility because I respect the Yorubas for collective responsibility. I respect the Igbos for collective responsibility. But in, in the north, there is no one in the whole northern region that can call any one of us to say, come, we'll, we'll, because you haven't done anything for us. You have not done anything for your people from your what? In Igbo land, if you don't do anything to your village, they cannot even carry your cops to the village. So what is wrong with us? So what we are trying to ilkankate is that collective responsibility. Let the people of this world be responsible to the kids around them. Because like I said, we'll all become victims. We will all become their victims. Because these are people, these are kids that have never known love, they have never been cared for, that are mostly, I have spoken to some of them that say that we take these drugs because it stops us from feeling hungry. So I have to take the drug not to be hungry. Now they have gone beyond that. They are into kidnapping. How many people have we seen that have killed for 1,000, for 5,000, for 20,000? You understand? Drug abuse. What is, what is the root cause? That is what Salama is trying to find out. We should nib it from the beginning, from the source. So if you don't engage, we have to use soft power. You understand? Instead of coercion, let us bring them. It's not about coercion now. The military and the police cannot do anything about that. More so, you don't have 400,000 policemen. For over 200 million, prevention is better than cure. You understand? So, and this youth, we have to understand that they make Omar. The youth can make Omar. The, 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 you assess every country on earth by the level of goodness or otherwise of their youth. That is why China has the highest percentage of youth that are millionaires. Nigeria is becoming a pariah. Nigeria is a, becoming a place that nobody wants to do business with. Because the rate of crime is soaring and it's so unprecedented and it's getting worse every day. So instead of just criticizing the government, I asked myself, haven't I said everything that I needed to say? I have. Now it's time for change. And what I have done it's not change about change or the change that you have had. I, I have lost interest in politics. I'm really not interested. I am an activist, primarily, and I will continue to be an activist. But for now, I want to push politics away because it's a detraction. Until and unless I see somebody that I can really trust one more time, I have no business. Just, I mean, campaigning for anybody, or, or I mean, I just don't have time. I want to dedicate the rest of my life to retracing our steps, getting to help our youth, restoring their honor, and getting our people to remember as Muslims, as Muslims, we owe it to God and to our society to assist. Because everything in Islam is about justice, it's about help. Allah has said it over and over and over again. I wonder the kind of Islam we are operating in, this, in the north, quite honestly. How many of us help the miskin, the wretched? How many of us have helped the orphans? How many of us sleep and drink while all your neighbors are hungry? What sort of Islam is this? So we have to rekindle that belief because unfortunately, a lot of our clerics are the executive al -Majures. They have no job. They do nothing. Our Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, at the end of time, there will be clerics that do nothing but they eulogize people in power and that have money. This is exactly what is happening. We have to make a U-turn. 
if we, if we sensitize the youth because of their numbers, because of the energy they have, all this nonsense will come to pass. Like, share, and subscribe.